I talk about that often, this idea of condensing timelines yeah. and, and which will enable me to scale impact. Right. Uh, and I want to do in three or four years what takes most people a decade and mm -hmm. do in a year what takes most people three to four. And it's, and it's all about optimization and efficiency. Right. And it's about focus and clarity yeah. because people don't need more motivation and inspiration. They need clarity. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to understand where ultimately they're trying to get in order to then build a roadmap to there. Everybody kind of has to know where they are, uh, and that's why we talk about self-awareness so much and kind of understanding where you are in that spectrum. Um, mm -hmm. But regardless, there has to be this idea of where you want to be, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now. Um, if five years from now, 10 years from now, it's running that business that you're now doing on the side, then your actions on a daily basis need to match that. It's this concept of condensing timelines. And that's really what we're trying to do. We are putting in so much work and we're implementing so much action on a daily basis that by doing so, we're able to scale very quickly in the reach and our impact that we're being able to make on people's lives and the value that we're able to bring to people's lives. And what that does is it condenses timelines. So you hear the phrase patience is key all the time. It's an incredibly important pillar uh, of any uh, successful person's um, ability to uh, hang in there when things get tough, ability to grind through those first months, those first years that it takes to ultimately become successful. But what condensing timelines means, it means that you are able to outwork other people outwork yourself on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to be able to scale faster and faster and faster and faster and condense those decade timelines into maybe one to two year timelines. Doing what a normal person would do in a year in three months. And the only way I know how to do that is by the time in the day. Um, there's ways, there's certainly ways you can get more efficient. It's probably the biggest piece of advice that I could give you is if you have an idea, if you have a goal, put a deadline, put a date on the calendar that you will complete the first step, the second step, the third step, and put these things in action. But we just want to reach more people and we want to reach them in a better is not the right word, but a more efficient way. Like we want to reach them in a way that makes the biggest impact the fastest. And so that's always trying to increase the quality of the content that we're putting out or just different types of content that we're putting out because we know one type of post, one type of video may reach someone that, you know, another type of video would never even reach um, for whatever reason to just, they're, they're attracted to it. Um, and I just look at it as a, it, not a burden, but a, a, a big responsibility that I have um, every single day to, to keep putting stuff out there because I know that there's somebody, that like there's one person out there that is scrolling through Instagram right now or scrolling through Facebook right now and is waiting to see some piece of content pop up that could potentially change their life. And I take that extremely seriously because I've seen it play out so many times. I think for me, it's, we talk about scaling impact. Like it's everything we do, the ROI is just scaling impact. Like the messages that we get, the comments, the, the stories from people that have actually, you know, found the content, implemented strategies that we've talked about, implemented different mindsets that we've talked so much about. And then two, three, four, five, six months later have come back and messaged me and said, Hey, I, I saw this post, started following your content. Since then, this has happened, this has happened, this has happened, this changed my life. Now I'm doing this and now I'm happy and, and, and all those things. Like that's that's what we look at as as our ROI. And uh, and it's just a it's just a fun, fun place to be.